Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the Grip Gear Movie Maker Director Set. So this is the box you're looking at and basically this is a an electronic uh, motorized rail slider and it comes with a few other accessories. So I'll just go over them uh, once I open the box and then I'll uh, show you some sample video clips and I'll give you my non-affiliated opinions of whether this is a good uh, product or not and uh, this was purchased with my own money uh, if you were to buy an electronic or motorized uh, rail slider in a larger scale uh, because the smaller uh, size was not available so this type of product or instruments were only accessible for the movie producers or movie makers but uh, due to the technology now is ordinary a simple person or an ordinary youtuber like me can have access to these uh, electronic uh, rail slider and uh, micro dolly just like that so that's a uh, good thing that you know we can have uh, this type of uh, accessories to make better and smoother videos so i'm just going to show you some of the specs in the back uh, which is included in the box so the first thing you're going to look at is the motor which is right here and it gives you a 360 degree panoramic function uh, you can just like you know put it uh, on a tripod to do a uh, time-lapse video or 360 degree panoramic video and then there's the rail uh, which you know you have to set it up uh, it should be easy to set up and the another good thing is that you can buy additional rail to make it longer but i'm going to just stick with whatever i have and then uh, this slider, uh, the, the motorized uh, slider actually then just like you know, goes from one side to another side of the rail. And then it has a loop function and what it means that once it reaches this part, then it just like you know, keeps going to the other part and then it just keeps going back and forth. And you can actually make this uh, either horizontal or vertical uh, to make it video any way you want and this uh, motorized dolly or this motor uh, can actually turn into a motorized dolly which is a micro dolly and then you can use this micro dolly to give it different type of uh, motion for example it can go in circle or it can go uh, a, like you know moon shaped uh, square or it can have different shapes uh, which you'll be able to uh, control by changing the wheel setting from here uh, or the wheel rotation so let's open the box and we'll take a look at it what inside uh, this was purchased with my own money uh, there's no affiliated links no a sponsored program or no nothing so the opinions and review you're going to get there totally un honest and unbiased so the box should be very easy to open and once you open the box and you can see that you know all the stuff is in here so the first thing i'm looking at the remote control and they have included some usb cable so this is uh, not usb c this is just regular micro uh, usb and this looks like the rail and then we have the motor right here and this is the part that can turn into the micro dolly so let me take this out one by one and then I'll show you uh, all of them at once and then once I install that then I'll uh, show you how it works. Hello everyone, I have had a few days to try the Grip Gear electronic uh, slider and the motorized dolly. So I'm not going to show you how to set it up because it's really easy and simple. All you have to do is just to follow the uh, instruction manual and then you'll be able to do it. However, I'm going to show you uh, something which you may have difficulty with and uh, that's what I'll show you and also I'll give you a few tips. So the first thing is that uh, this is the motor and which is going to turn into the micro dolly but the problem is this is kind of very tricky to uh, fix this with the, the grip right here. So if you do not do it properly then uh, there's a chance that you might break this and uh, what I figured out is that uh, there's a trick doing it, this which will make it very simple and easy so what you're going to do you're going to just hold it this way and uh, you're going to take it this way and you're going to insert this side on here first and this side uh, or this part later so if you do that then it's going to be very easy and simple so for example so you're looking at it here 
so take this part and this hinge here you put it in there and then you match it with the cut there so if you do that then what's gonna happen that okay so so see you put it into the right place and then this part hasn't matched yet so you just put a slight pressure and see it's done now this is okay but if you do it other way then it's gonna a lot of time and there's a chance you're gonna break it so very careful with this part or section and always match the first uh, section right here and this one later on then it's gonna be much easier and then all you have to do is just you know put the ball here and then uh, this is going to turn into a micro uh, dolly so basically this is the main engine of everything now what I noticed with this that uh, let's see if you're running on a, a piece of cloth or table runner or anything that it has difficulty sliding so what you have to do is that it's very good on surface like you know flat surface uh, a smooth surface but if you have any paper or anything then it uh, it gets very like you know uh, troublesome to uh, go over the bend or bump so I'll show you right now what I meant okay so I'm going to turn this on by pressing the power button right here okay so it looks like it has run out of battery so this is something else I was going to mention you later but uh, because this is happening now so this thing doesn't keep its power so you have to charge it frequently and you use it just one time then the power goes out and you have to keep charging so that's a fault of the product uh, it works but you know the power is very the battery life is really low so you have to just like you know keep charging each time you use so I'll just you know charge this and show you uh, will show you what I was going to show you so I had to charge uh, the motor again and now it should have a full charge so let's uh, turn this on So you can see that meter is uh, there's no motion right now so what I'm going to do uh, let's start with the slower motion for example we'll try 4 and I'll turn it on okay so if you look very carefully you're not going to be able to see it because of the very slow motion but it's trying to you know pass through the bump right here but it's not able to because you know uh, it has difficulty uh, passing through small bumps on the on a uh, surface so it has to be a flat surface like that but let's see if I uh, increase the speed then eventually it will be able to you know uh, go higher so let's say if I do five still trying still trying but very slow and then let's say six seven but you can see that there's it's lagging right on the edge so let's do nine which is the maximum speed and then now you can see that you know it's able to pull it up and now it's passing that bump so if you are you know using this on a flat surface uh, with uh, on top of something like a, a tablecloth or runner or anything then it's going to have difficulty passing that uh, bump or any you know uneven space so that's something to remember now what I'm going to show you is uh, how it performs on the rail slider so the setup is very easy you have to just you know follow the manual but I'm going to give you one tip right here so the tip is you have to insert this first here and then you need to attach it so if you attach it first then you will be able to you know insert it so what you do you just you know insert it this way and it's gonna get stuck so you have to just you know pull the uh, lever up which is going to be right here so you have to just you know take this off and if you do it then you have to just you know pull this lever up and that will make it you know uh, slide and then once you attach it right here and then you know you just tighten the screw and you can actually you know shorten uh, the lengths so
let's uh, put it here. So I'm going to just, you know, shorten the length by moving this closer. Okay, so it looks like this is a little bit tight. And so you kind of have to like, you know, uh, lift it up on the edge on the both sides. And then you can just like, you know, make it shorter or you can just hold it like this and you can uh, still move it on here even if it's attached like this but i would prefer to take it out all the way okay so you have it right here so i tried it putting a, a mirrorless camera it still works but it's a little bit heavier so it's best if you put a gopro or action camera so now we're going to just see how it performs on the slider so i'm going to just turn it on by pressing the button And I'm going to put it, the remote control is not going to work unless you come close to this section because that's where the sensor is. So if you just do it from here, it's not going to work. So you have to do it from here. Okay, so now let's. Okay, so it's not moving because I didn't close the lever. So. I put the lever and then still not moving. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that it's moving. Uh, okay, so this is speed 7 and let's go to speed 8, the speed 9. You cannot go above a speed 9 and it makes a little bit noise at speed 9. And if I do speed 8, uh, still makes noise but a little bit you know lesser so I was uh, I had camera on top of it and looks like you know my camera didn't pick up the noise so this noise actually doesn't it's not that obvious but it's something to uh, keep in mind so it works very well on the slider uh, but sometimes I notice that you know on this attachment right here if you don't it, don't uh, tie it closely or properly then it gets like you know uh, stuck here then you have to increase the speed or just you know push it a little bit uh, so that's how it works and let's make it nine again and you can see once it hits this side right here it's going to just you know keep continue going back and forth so you can control it how much you want uh, uh, to cover and even you can buy additional uh, rail if you want but I think what they gave is uh, good enough so Another thing I noticed that this section uh, right here, uh, so this this part, or let's this part, you cannot uh, you cannot you know move it. I tried it, but I'm, I didn't try it harder. But I'm, I think it, this cannot be moved uh, because I have a feeling that this is attached. So I didn't uh, like you know I was not able to do anything. But uh, if someone uh, knows if this can be removed and put it. Uh, like you know this remove from this part let me know in the comment section so basically that's all there is and uh, just to uh, you know wrap up the review uh, the comparing what you're paying and what you're getting uh, this is not a bad product and the review is non-affiliated unbiased and honest and uh, if you uh, try to buy similar thing from other manufacturers it's gonna cost you like you know two three four times higher than what you'd pay I paid, I believe this is about $170 or in the $200 range. So I paid only about $129, uh, which was on sale. Uh, I can actually show you very quickly uh, right here. So, So if you take a look at it, I paid about $129, which is a very good deal because I checked for other manufacturers, you know, the same thing runs for three, four, five hundred dollars or even higher. So it works, but it has some like, you know, flaws and uh, which I, do, uh, I mentioned, for example, uh, one of them is like, you know, it cannot uh, pass a little bumps uh, if you are using it as a micro dolly 
and the battery power doesn't stay too long you have to just keep charging it and uh, except that the quality is not extra fancy or not uh, you know fancy but it's not bad either you know the uh, it's, it has plastic feeling and everything and uh, but you know I cannot complain about the uh, quality because of the price and then other problem I faced is that you know attach this section uh, to the micro dolly so you have to just you know uh, be very careful and uh, do it the way I showed it before so overall uh, there's nothing to complain about and uh, you know I'm happy with the purchase uh, thank you for watching forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there'll be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly